So, of course, we've all heard the term loyal to royal. This is a passenger that exclusively cruises Royal Caribbean ships and is extremely loyal to them. However, today I want to talk about a Royal Caribbean passenger that took the term loyalty to a whole nother level as he attacked a performer on board a Royal Caribbean ship. Now, I'm assuming, because I do have the clip and I'm going to show all of you guys, that, well, there is his wife or maybe his lover, as he could be the boyfriend, husband, or the other man that is with this woman. The proximity level got a little too close close for comfort and he attacked the magician on board a Royal Caribbean ship. I'm going to go over all the details and give my opinion of course. However, I do want to do a shameless plug here. If you guys are watching this, I recorded this video yesterday as I am currently getting ready to board at the time of this recording. Well, when you guys are watching this, boarding the Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady cruise ship. Kind of came up randomly. My friend Jojo reached out to me. We're going on a cruise together. And then after that, I go home for one day, then I come back and go on Valiant Lady. And then after that, one day later, I'll be on the celebrity beyond and then all of this for anticipation for when I go over to Greece to board the resilient lady cruise ship for her maiden voyage in May so I'll be jumping on all of Virgin Voyages active ships within roughly around the next 30 days or so so make sure you guys check out my other channel Jay the Nomad for all of the vlogs as well as this channel for my in-depth review after each cruise has concluded anyway enough of this mumbo jumbo let's get to the clip <laughs> So all of this allegedly took place roughly around two weeks ago on board Royal Caribbean's Quantum of the Seas. There is a very famous comedian, he's Australian, known as Ben Murphy, who was performing his bit on board the cruise ship and entertaining all the fine folk on board that ship. Lo and behold, in the middle of one of his skits in which he grabs a participant, in this case a woman, he puts the card in his mouth and her mouth, and apparently he has the cards like kind of touched, sort of in a kissing kind of way, where the cards essentially are supposed to be switched so the woman's card that she had in her mouth gets switched with his or vice versa something of that nature anyway he was showing everybody a cool trick but lo and behold right after those cards touch not the lips be very clear about that her lover, whoever, boyfriend, decides to lash out in anger and rage and go tackle the man. And, well, some people are saying he punched him. It looked more like a, a tackle. But according to Ben Murphy, he said he did sustain some injuries, some bruising, as he hit his head on the ground by being pushed back. And he had a little bit of blurred vision after. And, well, it just wasn't a good scene, as you saw in the video clip. Throughout this whole altercation before, during, and after, the woman nor the man that attacked Ben Murphy has been identified. However, Ben Murphy has been pretty outspoken on his Instagram and on TikTok. A lot of the comments have been disabled. However, he is simply stating that when the situation occurred, Royal Caribbean didn't really take it too seriously, as they didn't really get as far as like the take on his behalf days later. There is also no confirmation as to if anything, if anything at all, happened to the passenger that attacked him to begin with now this has sparked an outcry from all passengers on board and social media outlets and mainstream media outlets because allegedly and again according to ben murphy at this point in time there has been no repercussions of the man that assaulted him he assaulted him got off the stage clean and clear and was able to according to once again ben murphy just be able to sail freely and enjoy the rest of his cruise which honestly nobody including myself thinks that is okay now do of course keep in mind this is the latest update and information that I have available. I was not on Quantum of the Sea sailing in Queensland or wherever the heck it was sailing out of so who knows maybe the man was confined to his room. This is something everybody agreed with until the cruise is concluded this man should basically be in prison the brig until he gets to local authorities whenever they get back to the home port and then he should of course face more consequences by court, jail time, lawsuit, whatever Ben Murphy decides to do if he presses charges which I think is appropriate in this kind of case. Now just looking at all this as a whole as most of you know i've not only worked on cruise ships i i cruise extensively at least two i want to say roughly two cruises a month and i see a lot of things as i am very observant it's kind of like i consider it my job to pay attention to the overall vibe and what's going on and one thing that i noticed and i think many of you can agree with me whether you've actually paid attention to this or not is that there are a lot of people that honestly that just shouldn't cruise together to be clear here i don't 
technically mean in the literal sense like it should be illegal for these people to cruise together but i mean it for the overall betterment of the experience of the passengers that are sailing whoever they're sailing with and let's be fair for the betterment of all the passengers on board because most of you have probably seen this if you have cruised extensively you got couples friends partners lovers ex-lovers thinking they can rekindle their relationship on a cruise family members that fight all the time thinking they can survive a full week with each other in the same cabin and they try it out and well it doesn't exactly go so well and you have all these arguments and fights and and kerfuffles all over the place it just creates a very annoying and potentially at times dangerous situations with couples in particular as i have seen this plenty of times like i said just working on ships and being on ships all the time i'm looking around and i'm seeing all the couples there's some most couples for the most part can handle themselves there may be an argument or two here or there i'll be honest with you i'm guilty of it as well my girlfriend lauren and i we are not perfect there are situations that we have on board and well it it, it just does beg the question i do this for business and then it's also you're mixing business with pleasure because i vacation for a living and well it, it's one of those things that it has never really been done before up until maybe like half a decade ago so it's hard to figure out exactly how to get all the little giblets figured out but just people in general they cruise together thinking everything's going to be okay knowing damn well they aren't exactly cordial and working with each other at home and then you have these situations where you have jealous boyfriends you have the fights you have the cheating remember that like 60 man brawl that took place on a carnival ship last year the carnival magic it was a very magical cruise there was a, a girl that decided to cheat on her husband or boyfriend had a threesome with some other dudes and then the, the group found out and it, it turned into this gigantic mashup brawl it was absolutely insane which i think also kind of proves my point even me when i cruise on board a cruise ship full transparency here i do have to deal with a lot because like i said this is my business and it is hard for myself and well especially other people that are outside of my relationship to realize that whether I'm sailing with myself my mom my son whoever this is also still my business and I have to treat it as such to a certain extent right so when I come across people they're like oh well why are you working go have fun with your girl and blah 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 right that causes issues outside of not only our relationship but outside of my business and everything else and yes I understand that I am a special case but I'm just using it as an example that sometimes people have to really analyze every single situation for example the cruise the next two cruises i'm taking now i'm going by myself because i know how the environments can be when it comes to a certain extent if i go on let's say a cheaper cruise where you have a lot of first-time cruisers and let's be fair here sometimes some ignorant people i don't take my girlfriend because i don't want to deal with the issues potential fights or anything of that nature should it arise i, I know i'm talking a lot but hopefully this makes at least a little bit of sense to all of you moral of the story guys if you do not have a clear and legitimate relationship with somebody and your status isn't in good standing and i'm talking about whether it be a friendship an actual love-like relationship marriage whatever the case may be the cruise is not the place to go fix it all i can promise you that in most cases if you guys don't have everything stabilized at home then well it's not going to just magically fix itself as soon as you're on the seven seas it just it ain't gonna happen so just keep that in the back of your mind guys i feel like whenever people ask me like on the street outside of when i'm on a cruise ship if they should go on there and and i know damn well they've been having complications so i say mm -mm, that's probably not the place to be it's, it's going to escalate the situation i have stories for days on situations that have happened of people that have tried to go on a cruise ship and they don't exactly have their their house in order and well it just causes even more complications and well it's just it's a giant mess and it could potentially ruin the overall experience for everybody else which personally i don't think is fair but anyway guys that's all i got on this matter let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below if it is true that this man allegedly faced no repercussions for his actions well do you think he should do you think he was right in being so jealous because this man the magician uh ben murphy touched cards with this with his wife or his lover do you think he was in the right to tackle this man yay or nay let me know in the comments guys as usual i appreciate all of you i love all of you hit that like button on your way out go watch my other channel jay the nomad I have videos coming up with my friend jojo and and so much more guys i'll see all of you later take it easy